Okay, friends, subscribers, and all my fellow YouTubers, um, I've got another good video for you. It's uh, mainly due to the find you'll see at the end of it, but I was out there searching for all the um, expanding suns, as, as many expanding suns. These are the ones that uh, you saw in my last video. If you have not seen my last video, I strongly recommend you watch it, as our sun is expanding, as well as we have foreign suns within our, un uh, within our solar system. That's right, we have foreign suns, and I actually have further evidence in regard to those foreign suns, which you will see in a up-and-coming film, not the next one, but the one after I get up. But uh, I just thought I'd throw these expanding suns in there um, so that you can see that our sun is expanding some, somewhat over about a thousand times its normal size. It's supposed to be the size of that little white dot in the centre. Uh, the next image you're going to see is of a rogue star passing extremely close to our solar system. Yes, that is a star, and those other two that you see are also stars. Uh, but the one at the back is extremely large. Now, um, this one I've just found today, it's just basically, um, it happened back in 1996. So that, just to show you that these events have been happening for a long period of time. So there's no need to panic. Okay, I've had a few people worried about the last bit, so I just sort of throw this image in to prove that it's been happening for a long period of time. Now, this is our sun creating a sun dog. That's right, our sun creates sun dogs. Uh, this was picked up by two cameras at two different times. And again, this is an older image. And it's just something I thought I'd want to show you. Uh, this one is, uh, again, back in 1996. Um, again, of our sun creating a sun dog. I just wanted to discuss the sun dogs in a little bit more detail in this video. as a bit more of a teaser for those of you that don't know anything about sun dogs. And the fact that our suns are intelligent and work together. Um, because it explains what's going to happen in the next video. Uh, this is our uh, sun, sorry, not our sun, but a sun creating a sun dog. As you can see, there are coronal mass ejections at the same period of time. A sun can create a sun dog in one direction or two directions. Um, now, this is the remnant trail of a sun dog. Um, this is what the sun dog looks like in a remnant trail, uh, courtesy of Google. Um, now, this next image is 14 stars. That's correct, folks. 14 stars in perfect alignment. Perfect alignment, creating the longest sun dog I have ever found. Um, as you'll see as the uh, image goes along, you'll notice that I'm zooming in on it very, very slowly. You can find this in Google Earth. The coordinates are down the bottom for those of you that want to go and have a look at, look at it for yourself. Um, and as you can see, it's just basically, truly, truly is a star. Each one of those is a star. Our stars move and work together in conjunction. I don't know why, I don't know how, but that is a star, folks. Um, I personally believe they are intelligently controlled. Now, while I was also zooming around in Google Earth a while back, I found this, this UFO in deep space. I thought it was a comet. And uh, as you can see, you can see our propulsion trail behind it. Uh, this is the reason why I brought this in is because I found it again. Um, and you won't believe, today, it's in our star today. Um, and basically, notice the shape of it. Now, this is, there's a reason why I put it in there. Um, notice how it's got that ball-like shape and that, that bit at the back. Um, now, our sun's also been playing up uh, a bit today. Um, as you can see, there's a sphere um, or a ship of some description in this image there. And uh, basically, it's a little bit clearer. So something's going on in our solar system, something pretty massive, folks. Um, now, as you can see there, there is a ship of some description, or I still believe that is another rogue star that's currently in our system. Um, there are small stars, there are large stars, as you've seen in those previous images. Stars can um, expand, like you've seen our star. But then I found this image in today's. Have a look to the right-hand side. It is looks to be a jump of the camera, but it's, I don't think it really is a jump of the camera. I think something has happened 
that has actually made this image come out the way it has, but look what's behind it. This camera, that red dot, is actually not to cover up the sun. I believe it's to cover up what our sun really looks like. But that little image to the right-hand side of the sun is extremely important, folks. That is correct. Extremely important. Uh, but this could be a rogue planet as well because it does also look like our sun is still there. So this could be a rogue planet passing by and the other th that could be a sun dog in, uh, underneath us, underneath the star, uh, and basically that could be another star. Have a look at it, folks. It's that same shape of ship that I found. And please note the, re the ball section is the propulsion section. Uh, because if you look at the shape of the ship, I thought, okay, you would think, okay, logically, yeah, it's the opposite way around. But when you look at the other image of the deep space UFO, it's most probably is more logical for the engine to be at that longer section so it doesn't heat up the living areas of the ship. So that would, i.e., you've seen it in Star Trek where they put the engines on long, long pieces. This could be where they got those um, things from, folks. It's sort of... It could be a large ship um, and a glowing orb, but I don't know what, what, what it's coming out of, but it is coming out of either our sun or a rogue star that has been going past it. There's the UFO again that I found in deep space, um, and it is a Google um, sky image where I found it. Uh, the coordinates are down the bottom for anybody that wants to go and have a look at it. And here it is again on a blow-up. Again, the coordinates are down the bottom. To go and have a look at it. Have a look at the shape of it, folks. It has that flatter section. It has the r large ball section at the rear that the propulsion is coming out of. Yes, that yellow area is propulsion. And you can clearly tell it is some kind of a ship. You can almost make out shapes and parts of the ship to me it looks like the Star Trek but when I saw this today it sort of spun me right out um, I actually truly believe that line is a sun dog folks and that sphere that you're seeing is the rogue sun that is currently going through our solar system I had there is other evidence of this rogue star going through our evidence uh, evidence going through our solar system now that line is what they call a sun dog. It's about the correct size of a sun dog. Now the bottom flare, now if you look at that red dot, right, there is a still a flare coming out of that that is in conjunction with our sun. There are still balls that, like lights coming out that still say, okay, well our sun is in the right position. But this is a, to me, is more a rogue star. This is not a flip image, that line, because it doesn't go all the way through the, the image to me that is a sun dog okay and there is the ship again have a look at the shape of it folks it looks so sim doesn't it look similar to a star that um, that very first Star Trek one that they put out in the new Star Trek where it had the one engine at the rear and if you notice it does look to be some kind of propulsion coming out of that ball section at the back right now the, the top and the sides it's not the exact same shape as that, the, the, as the deep space UFO, but it's extremely similar. Extremely similar. And I believe this is a UFO, a giant sphere, going past in between our sun and the SOHO camera. Right, so it is something that is going between the two and that ship is coming out of it and that glow around it so it says that's not the moon because our moon doesn't have that sort of a glow if that was a moon you would pick it up a lot clearer now again there is look at the shape of the ufo all right look at it it has the ball section that the propulsion is coming out of the rear it has that flatter section at the front now this again you've got to remember this is a deep space a very deep space image folks so that ship is extremely large, going by the size of it on the your sphere that's near it. That sphere looks to be uh, larger than our sun, so that could be that ship alone could be most probably five times the size of Jupiter. 
And look at the flares coming off that other craft. It is actually a star as well. And it looks like our star is still in the correct position. You can see by the little flare coming down the bottom, which is something commonly seen, right, on our star. That little flare, quite often you see that. And uh, that, what looks to be the other one, is because there is a second star in our region. Now, we could be wor our stars could be working in conjunction with each other, hence that's why I put those 14 stars creating the sun dog. Now, that's a sun dog. It's not a split image. Okay, I've worked it out because that pit top of the picture doesn't look to be in the right position. And the way the Soho camera works, it doesn't work to be like that. But look at this. That is a ship. It's nothing else. It's too perfect to be anything else. Right, because it's so well lit from behind, there's not that much distortion. There is a little bit of pixelation, yeah. But look at the shape. It's bloody perfect. That's not a piece of space junk, folks. That's a bloody spaceship. And sorry for swearing, but I'm sick and tired of people saying, oh, that's not a spaceship. But guess what? It is a spaceship, folks. And it's sitting near our sun, near a rogue star that's going past our sun in between the Soho camera and the sun. So that's in between us. So that is a damned large object. And again, that's just to show you the shape and everything. I found this one quite a long period of time ago. You can go back and have a look at the dates on my vids. The deep space uh, UFO found in deep space is one of my earlier vids. And basically, there it is, the full size of the ship. It looks almost identical, folks. Um, now, by the way, um, watch out for my next video, folks. I actually believe I have found that the, the true cause of the Japan earthquake, the Christchurch earthquake, and they can all be connected to events with the... I'll leave that last bit empty. So, yeah, just to keep you guessing. So, watch out for the... the um, the last bid, but all the evidence I've got are NASA evidence, folks. NASA evidence. So, yeah, so, um, and I believe that we may even be able to pre predict earthquakes. Once again, this is Anthony Avery signing off with the truth for all you, my fellow YouTubers.